Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. In this video, I thought we would have a look at how we can install a website as a web app. Uh, in the four different Chromium-based web browsers that I do feature on this channel, and in no particular order, namely Google Chrome, Brave, Microsoft Edge, and Vivaldi. Now, um, the process is similar yet different. There are different ways you can um, install and then uninstall a web app um, in those different browsers. So in this video, we will just take a look at what, what I would consider namely to be the simplest way to install and then uninstall um, a website um, as a web app uh, in those four Chromium-based web browsers. Now, starting with Google Chrome, and as an example, I want to install Microsoft Outlook as a web app using the Google Chrome web browser. And um, for most um, of the browsers, um, for most websites and services, you will see a prompt in the address bar to install that um, that site or service as a, um, a web app, but not in all cases. So as mentioned, um, this, um, th uh, the methods uh, described in this video will enable you to install most websites as a, a progressive web app in the four browsers. So to install, um, Outlook, as an example, uh, in Google Chrome as a web app, we head to the menu in the top right, just head to More Tools, Create Shortcut, and you need to click on Open as Window. So if you don't click on that option, then it won't open up in its own window, and Create, and now we can see Microsoft Outlook using Google Chrome is installed now as its own PWA, and then as an example, um, in uh, Windows and Linux, just to mention two examples, um, the, the shortcut options will be installed uh, in the Start menu, as we can see for the example for Chrome, where you can open that straight from the Start menu as well. And that will apply uh, to the four different browsers. They, they will all place Start menu entries um, in the Start menu, where you can easily access those PWAs once you have installed them using the four different browsers. And then um, in Brave, uh, the process is exactly the same. So just as another example, I want to install Google Drive in the Brave web browser. Once again, we head to the uh, menu in the top right, More Tools, Create Shortcut. The same applies, open as window, create, and there we have Google Drive working as its own PWA using Brave. And then moving on to Edge, and with Edge, it's a little bit different. Uh, we head once again to the menu. This time, you will see a, a entry in the context menu called Apps. And um, if we, as an example, want to use and open Twitter as a PWA, we head to the menu as mentioned, go to that context menu, entry Apps, and you will see an option called Install. And this, in this case, Twitter, we click on that, click on Install, and just give that a second or two in Edge just to open as a PWA. And once that's done, there are also a couple of other options in Edge. You'll see Pin to Taskbar, Pin to Start, Create Desktop Shortcut, and Auto Start on Device Login. I'm just going to go Pin to Start, Allow, and there we have Twitter now um, as its own PWA web app using the Edge browser. And then um, moving on to uh, Vivaldi. And once again in Vivaldi, the process is once again a little bit different. And as an example, I want to install YouTube and my website as a PWA. For Vivaldi, as mentioned, it's a bit different. Just head to the tab for that website, right click, and in the right click context menu, you will see an option called install, and in this case, YouTube. We click on that, install, and now you can see um, uh, YouTube and now is installed as its own PWA using uh, the Vivaldi web browser. Now, to reverse the process, in case you'd like to uninstall um, those um, apps, those web apps from the four different browsers, um, starting once again with Chrome, uh, it's quite simple, and this will apply to both. Uh, this process I'm going to show you now to uninstall will apply both to um, Chrome, Brave, and Vivaldi. So I'm just going to demonstrate this in Chrome, but it will apply. The same method applies to both Chrome Brave and Vivaldi. So what you do in those three browsers, if you'd like to uninstall uh, the web app, just head to your uh, your address bar and enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash apps. So that's chrome colon forward slash forward, forward slash apps. And that'll take you straight to the apps page in those browsers. And you just right click, in this case Outlook, you'll see remove uh, from Chrome and that will be 
from Brave and Vivaldi, remove, and the app is gone. And then for Edge, it's a little bit different once again. We head back to that, um, that uh, context menu, head back to apps, and here you'll see manage apps. Click on that, that'll take you to the apps page in Edge, and yeah, Twitter as we installed it, and we can uninstall and Twitter, if we click on remove, that'll uninstall it. And also in the browsers, you'll also see an option, also clear data. If you want that data cleared in the four different browsers, you can click on that option as well. And then we remove and um, the app is gone. So that was just a quick video to show you how you can uninstall and install a web app uh, in those four different Chromium based web browsers, Chrome, Brave, Edge and Vivaldi. And that would be basically any website to be installed and uninstalled as a web app. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.